She was just like loving the Elf on the Shelf thing. Oh, it's I'm, the Elf on the Shelf. Yeah, no. <laughs> I it was she totally said Santa for a little bit. I was like, no, Elf on the Shelf. No, it's, it's Elf on the Shelf. Good. Okay. It's all that good. was like a little bit after my generation, whatever that generation is. It's okay. I mean, I, Santa's cool too. You know, I appreciate the Santa. The I Santa appreciate look. you. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, let's talk about your, uh, uh, congrats on your new pet, by the way, that goldfish in the hotel. Thank you so much. <laughs> I saw that. Was it on your Twitter you posted? It or? was, and I got a an array of responses. Um, <laughs> but it was honestly... This specific hotel, you can call and order goldfish they do sent this to your now. room. No, I don't think they do this. Oh. And I'm not, I'm not promoting that you should call every hotel and ask <laughs> them to can. send a goldfish. <laughs> However, this one was really cool. And they were like, yeah, if you're lonely, we'll send you up a goldfish. They fed it for me. They, fed, they even feed it for you? Yep. You don't have to do anything? Nope. What else? What'd you name the goldfish? Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> Swedish fish. I get it. You get it? Awesome. Speaking of pets, we got uh, Pets Plus here. Guys, they got, I, they you do puppies. this to me every we, time. We gotta, why? We no, want you to I take a puppy it. home. I know. I we, want to. But my, my parents are always like, no. They're yeah. like always in the corner going, no, You, you want to hold Twix? <laughs> Twix? His name is Twix. <laughs> I want to hold you, Twix. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I dropped the puppy. Oh, you're good. Puppies are more important. You're more important. You're more important, Twix. Twix has anything to say uh, on the mic there? No. Do you have anything to say? No. <laughs> Congrats on your success this year, by the way. Thank Why you so much. the single there? 2017. What does it mean to you professionally and personally? Like as a, as a person growing, whatever. Like whatever. What does 2017 mean to you? It means that um, I haven't messed up yet, um, <laughs> because I honestly I've had such a such a fun year. Like I've just. Right. I've been able to cross so many things off my bucket list, and um, but honestly, it just motivates me to wanna to wanna work harder. Like being on this stage, I said, like I grew up, I grew up. I'm still growing up. Um, <laughs> seeing my favorite artists on this stage, so to be here tonight is like everything. And Q102, you guys were the first people to play my song. Lehigh Valley, I represent. Seriously, we gotta, we gotta represent like I can't tell yeah. you how much that means to me. So this is crazy. Awesome, and of course we saw you at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Did you get to pick the the float you were on? You were on the Builder Bear float, right? I was on the Builder Bear float, um, and the thing about that, which uh, Builder Bear was so incredible in donating hundreds of bears um, to Toys for Tots this mm. year, and they wanted me, they wanted to include me in that because that's awesome. something that I'm really passionate about. Um, so that's why I was on the Builder Bear float. And I also just love dancing bears. Did they give you? Did they give you like bears to make, or like did you? He never has a comment. <laughs> never a comment. Twix, never what do you have to comment. say to this? Twix, I always feel like you're gonna back me up with something, and you never do. I just feel like we need to work on our communication skills. All right. Yeah, this situation right now, you got to talk, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so uh, you have a new single. Yes. It's called First Love. With Lost Kings, I was just talking to them earlier. Yeah. They're in so there's a surprise on stage or something. We shouldn't. Be, oh, I don't uh, know. I don't why know. are we, they in Philly? Why are they? Uh, why, <clears throat> in why, is, so why are Lost weird. Kings in here uh, yeah. doing this Q102 Jingle Ball? We but, we do though. Um, and honestly, I'm I'm such a fan. What are you doing now? You're eating, eating the cord? Okay, now he wants to be entertaining. <laughs> you can't eat the cord, Twix. Um, I can't tell you what's gonna happen, but I'm um, I'm really excited that they're here, and I'm excited everyone likes the song. All right, but that single, like, uh, you guys, did you reach out to them, or was it like a combination? You know, we had like, wanted to work together, right. and then. And um, we had found this song, and it was something that we both loved. It was a first love for both of us. They and said that they love your voice. Aww. They love your voice. That's why they picked you to Thank be like, hey, you. they were like, Sabrina Carpenter should do it. And, and I think there's something so special about it because they took that song from like a place where it was, it wasn't how the song sounds like now. They mm -hmm. are so good at what they do, and I was just really excited to work with them to be a part of um, it, to be yeah. a part of that. And sure. I love the song. Like it, it's something that like whenever I sing it, whenever I sing it in front of mm -hmm. a big crowd, too, I always feel like it's something that, you know. People relate to it because people are always thinking about that that one thing that they all have in common, their right. first love. Like, Twix is mine. <laughs> so I always think about Twix whenever do you, I'm singing. How do you feel love. about that, Twix? Your first love, you Sabrina Carpenter. You're, you have the hiccups right now, I think. Uh-oh. Who's eating the cord, too. Yeah. 2018. Plans for that? You have a third album on the way yeah. coming up. What can we expect from the album? You can know you what? give us some uh, intel, inside I, insider information? I'm getting to a place. Twix, you're going to sit right yeah. here. You're going to sit. Oh, you're going to... He's gonna fall. Right. We're getting to a place right now where I, I feel like it's a new chapter, and mm -hmm. whenever I feel that way, I get really, really excited because I feel like every single time I want to be able to bring something new to the table and grow, and and I feel like with why it was such a different step for me, and obviously it was um, my first single to radio that I that I wrote, and being able right. to you know write everything has been 
has been my favorite part of all of it. And now you're just going to Mars over here. <laughs> um, so I think that I'm, I'm really excited for people to hear, okay, the next the next album. If you can describe the upcoming third album in one word, uh, what would it be? Ooh, one word. One word. One word, one word or maybe a food, if you want to describe it. A food? It as, yeah, I was asking Lost oh, Kings about this. Oh, if what I want to describe, describe it, yeah, it as, as a food, food, what would it be? I would say, um, like, hot tamales, maybe. Ooh. Hot tamales. Yeah, that's not a food. That's a candy. But I mean, still, it's like you, you want to eat some for a snack, and it like it gives you that kick. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is There's a, a kick to it. Is that tamale a snack? There's I don't a know. kick to I've it. Never had tamales. Me either. <laughs> I don't even think I've had hot tamales, so I love that I described my album. <laughs> it's like I've never had it before. Never but had it's really them, but good. Pretty sure that's what that's it is. That's what your album's gonna be. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I, I think really... I like it. <laughs> All right. What's your Christmas wish this year? Uh, Christmas wish. Christmas wish. Honestly, Twix. Like I really want to take there Twix. There it is. Home. Pets Plus. Yep. And your New Year's resolution, do you have one for 2018? Year- oh, what do you do? honestly, this is going to sound awful, but you know how like whenever you walk past a mirror, you always look in it no matter no matter what, even if you want to right, or not? Because like- you're just like self-conscious about it. I just told myself I would I would stop looking in mirrors that I walked past. <laughs> just just keep going. Just, just keep going just because keep going. honestly, it doesn't make a difference. Like if your hair is, is up here or down there, it doesn't make a difference. So that was my, <laughs> it's, it's another great new yeah, No, I like that. I'm like, I'm going to start doing that too. <laughs> uh-huh. Sabrina Carpenter backstage at Q102 Jingle Ball. Thank you so much for stopping in. And Twix, what do you have and to say? And Twix, what do you have to say about all this? No comment. Nothing. No right. comment. Enjoy the show. As usual. Of course, you're going to have some fun on stage there. Maybe some surprises in store. Wink. <laughs> we'll see Thank you guys you. out there.